Welcome to Tiffany Starology. My name is Tiffany and I will be taking you through a monthly reading for the sign of Gemini. I hope that as you listen to this reading, you find something helpful, encouraging, inspiring to help you get through this month. I know we're about halfway through January, but I want you to take the things that you've already learned from the beginning of this month and the things that will come after this reading to help really bring it all in. At this time, Gemini, I ask that your spirit guides, ancestors of only the white and Christed light come into this space now and allow us to know what they would like you to hear and learn for the month of January. We're going to pull about eight cards and we'll do some oracle at the very end for advice and just to give you a bigger picture. But let's see. All right, so we have the Four of Cups popping out. So there may have been some information this month that you received that you did not like hearing. We also have the Judgment card. So you're going through major upgrades. The Star card. We have the Page of Swords. The Three of Cups. And we're going to go ahead and pull three more for you. We have the Queen of Cups, the Emperor, and last one, Spirit, for my dear Gemini. Oh, we got a few here. I'm not going to take all of those. Spirit's like, we, we can't just have one. One card for my dear Gemini spirit. And we will definitely clarify. It seems like there's a lot of messages that want to come through. But um, for my dear Gemini, one more for their January 2024 spirit. Anything that they need to know at this time. All right. Page of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Okay. On the bottom of the deck, we have the chariot card. So this is letting me know that this is go time. There is something that you are being equipped with to do during the month of January. And you're about to just take off. Whatever this is, you will be celebrating by the end of the month some success, positive news, a good outcome. And I also see you celebrating and being part of community that gives you strength this month okay so let's dive into your reading and of course like i said we'll clarify for those of you who are not looking at the camera and want to hear the cards that we have again we have the four of cups the judgment card the star card the page of swords three of cups queen of cups the emperor and the page of pentacles i'm going to start a little bit out of order and start with my page of pentacles here Page of Pentacles is basically you starting off on a new project, idea, a new adventure. For a lot of you, I see that you are going through a major transformation within your life and you're being tasked to go on this new journey of self-understanding, self-unveiling, self-improvement is definitely what's coming through. You may have received some information this month and we'll clarify what that might be that had you feeling a bit upset, maybe even going into the end of December, there was some information that you were met with, but Spirit says there's still more waiting for you right here. Don't forget, there's a hand that is reaching out to give you this bowl of goodness. There's faith, healing, and movement forward with that, as long with this rainbow here. And so there's this need for you to believe in the ability to be blessed, to heal, to move forward, to conquer your fears, to go forth. With a judgment, we always want to think of someone who's going through a transcendental time, an enlightenment period, having to rise to the, the occasion, a wake-up call, a deep, integral change that's going on within you. And with the star card here, there's this need to call on your ancestors, your spirit guides, speak to source directly about what way the spirit wants you to really envelop yourself and move forward and what is the what is the call about? We'll definitely clarify both of those cards and see. But a lot of the times when we get the judgment and the star card, there's this need for us to actually understand that our life is more than just this earthly vessel that we live in. You're going to be learning a whole lot in January, whether this is about a project you're working on, uh, learning about the body, learning about spirituality, like diving deeper into some course of study where you are considering starting a new path, a new journey. 
For some of you, this may be as simple as I'm waking up to the reality that I need a change in my food. I need a change in my living situation. I need a change in my physical surroundings. And as you start to learn more, uh, you may be watching self-help videos, reading self-help books, listening to podcasts. There's going to be this community that is built around you. Friends, family alike, uh, maybe even online community as well, that will help usher forward this king, sorry, this queen of cups energy of you just allowing and receiving from spirit. There is this beautiful release here I see with her hands straight up to the sky. This community this family, this togetherness, this celebration energy that you have with others, there is going to be so much healing of partnerships, community, loved ones, and yourself. But it's because you're tapping into that beautiful, intuitive, feminine energy of the Queen of Cups and you're allowing yourself to be in flow state. It keeps coming up. I do Instagram uh, videos. Check out the description box below if you do want to follow me on Instagram. But it keeps coming up in my readings lately that there needs to be a release of control a, and a flow state that most of us need to get into tapping back into that feminine energy to allow our manifestations to come true. So if you've also been feeling like spirit, I have this manifestation. I don't know exactly where I'm going, but I'm giving it to you. I'm trusting and believing, right? I'm trusting and believing that this is what I'm supposed to do with my life. I'm doing the work. I'm studying. I'm putting myself out there. I'm connecting with others and I'm releasing control. I do feel that you're going to be able to move forward. And in that release of control, you gain control of a situation. You gain control of your mind, your heart, your spirit. And you celebrate all of those wonderful wins by the end of the month because there is this victory that you have found by allowing yourself to use both divine masculine and divine feminine attributes to get you where you need to be. I, I want to say for some of you that you have almost given up on yourself. And January is going to teach you no, there is more where that came from. So what is this spirit for the Four of Cups? What is my dear Gemini dealing with that they need to kind of have highlighted? So there was some kind of information that came to light. Maybe you've been working on a passion project. Maybe you also heard about some news that was startling or jarring to you with it being that Ace of Wands. Anything else for that Four of Cups? Nine of Cups. So wish fulfillment. Or maybe what you thought was a wish fulfillment. <laughs> I feel like maybe some of you got to a point in your life where you're like, this is it. And then you were actually like, this ain't it. This is not what I thought this was going to be. So there's this wish fulfillment that came in. But then you started to feel like this isn't actually what's making me satisfied. This is not actually what's giving me peace. Anything else about this four of cups spirit? Interesting how that works. I feel like a lot of us, when we go into things brand new, like, you know, with, with just like new eyes on our situation, it can be easy to just get caught up in what we thought was a wish fulfillment. The moon card. So whatever information you received, whatever it was, it seems to be a bit obscure and it's requiring you to rely on your intuitive nature, on your intuition to get you through. So for some of you, I'll kind of back it up. I feel like this Four of Cups was jarring information, something new that came out and you were like, whoa, a message, right? A message that was kind of like action packed, full of fire. For some of you, I also feel like you thought a wish fulfillment was going to be a better opportunity than it actually turned out to be. And it's not what you thought. And then for others of you, there's something that's been presented to you that's not completely clear, not completely making sense, and you're having to really rely on spirit, your spirit team, your intuition to get you through this process. So it is going to be a little bit different for everybody. Put yourself where you are with a general reading. What is this judgment, spirit? What is this judgment? 
Again, judgment calls are like wake-up calls, rising to the occasion, going through an enlightenment. So whatever this is that you found out about yourself, this process that you're going through, it is bringing you to a higher timeline, a higher frequency. Yeah, Queen of Swords. So there was, again, information. You having to be a little bit more in, in control of how your life is moving forward. If you've been the type of person that's kind of just like let life happen to you, Spirit's like, nope, this is the time where you actually have to get your shiz in order, get out of the hanged man position. So this is the hanged man in reverse, get moving towards your goal. So when the hanged man is in reverse, it's like, okay, it's go time. It's no longer a time of rest. Maybe you've been putting off, moving forward with ideas and dreams and just living your life to the fullest in spirits. Like there is no more time to wait. It is time to take your, your life into your hands and move forward. What is this star card spirit? Okay. So then I, I'm going to go ahead and take it. The nine of wands, wounded warrior. You have had to have faith in spite of everything being against you, feeling like there's been insurmountable battles and hills and situations that just don't make a lot of sense. But remember, Jupiter's getting ready to go into Gemini pretty soon. There'll be expansion of who you are. But right now, you're being tasked to trust and have faith that even though you're on this process of kind of self-realization and you're feeling a little bit out of sorts, you are on the right path and spirit doesn't want you to give up. Anything else we can know about the star card spirit? Queen of Pentacles. You're a loving person, someone who loves home, family, animals even. And this is just a time for you to really lean in on being grounded and grounding yourself, spending time in nature. Because when we see the star card, there's an internal and external healing. And the queen of pentacles is telling us to focus in. She's got her eyes closed. She's looking up at, at well, she's not even looking up. She's looking inward, I wanted to say. And she's resting. She's allowing. She's peaceful. She's not forceful. And she's allowing spirit to pour into her. I want to know a little bit more about this uh, four of wands or the celebration that might be coming in for you. This, uh, this happy time that January is going to bring. All right. We got two here. All right. So you're going to be walking away from a situation that did not make you happy, emotionally fulfilled even, and moving into a more harmonious place. There is a great divide that is is, is kind of happening. So spirit is saying, take the path that leads you to where you want to go. Utilize the time that you have to focus on the things that matter to you most. What's actually important. Begin to balance your life. The dark and the light. We all have it. Find more harmony, more peace, declutter, clean, cleanse, doing all of those things and walk away from all these emotionally unfulfilling situations because there is this need for you to really get back to the basics, focus on yourself and let go of hurts, conditioning, situations that have gone amok for far too long that aren't leading you anywhere positive and start focusing on building a better basis for yourself. I want to know a little bit more about the Queen of Cups and the Emperor. So Spirit, one for the Queen of Cups. What is this Queen of Cups? What is my Gemini going through? Yeah, you had to let go. There was so much baggage that you've been carrying that finally Spirit was like, if you don't let it go, it's going to hold you back. So you threw your hands up and you said, without you, I'm nothing, Spirit. Without you, I'm nothing. I have to move on. I have to pick up my myself, get my suitcase packed and free float and free fly allowing spirit to take you where you need it to go what is this emperor what is this emperor for my gemini man whatever you're going through gemini ah oh, there's su there's success so we have the three of wands and the six of wands so you are ready to take flight you're taking control of your situation where maybe in the past you held yourself back from really being in control. You will be triumphant. You will have success. 
it will require that you do things that make you uncomfortable and take risks and take chances. But ultimately, when you do and you start on this new journey, there is going to be a lot of fulfillment that reaches you. So be strong this month, my dear Gemini. Focus on what it is that spirit wants you to do with your life, how you want to transmute negative energy, getting out of a place of stagnancy, taking more authority over your life and not just letting situations that once gave you joy, once made you happy, have bearing over you forever because we are forever changing and that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and pull three cards from our first oracle deck called the sacred destiny and spirit what is it that you would like for my dear gemini to know to take with them for this month of january what is it so we have voyage so you're going on a journey again that that lines up with that page of pentacles where it's like the a fresh start you don't exactly know where you're going pull two more Purification. There's this need to really rise up. This is that enlightenment energy. This is that judgment card energy. Purifying your spirit, your mind, your home for a lot of you and taking a risk. So that's exactly what we said with that three of wands. So we'll start here. There is a beautiful hawk that is flying over what looks like an Arizona landscape, but some kind of desert landscape. And we're taking risks. We're doing things that we didn't think that we would do. We're being brave. We're flying and we're soaring above probably what we would have ever expected to have to go through. And you're seeing things from a new point of view as you take those risks, as you do the things that you thought you'd never do, as you tap into resources you never thought you'd tap into. I feel like spirit is showing us up here that with the clouds in the sky and that openness, that what was holding you down, I see a lot of red, I'm thinking root chakra, feeling insecure, unsafe, a lot of fear-based ideologies, fear-based information coming at you. Spirit is saying, but do you see the bigger picture? You're going on this voyage, but you're being protected the whole time. So what felt like you were traveling alone, if I zoom in here, you can see that the mama whale is carrying the calf. And mom looks like she's even being tethered from something we can't see. So are you going through a period in your life right now where you are having to raise people up while raising yourself up? Or is this spirit raising you up and taking you on this voyage, on this journey? When we go on voyages and journeys like this, it's easy to sometimes want to take control. But there's this free flow that I see again in this voyage where spirit is asking you to let go of fears, let go of doubts, bring in more love. Say, I am abundant. I trust my intuition. I believe that good things are coming and you just allow this voyage to happen. And in the process of that, you begin to purify mind, body, soul, spirit. You get in touch and in tune with what it is that you need to do to really set you on this new path that you're going on. But it isn't going to be easy. I definitely say with Voyage, it's going to be a lengthy battle. And with January kind of being the start of this new year, it's the start of that voyage. It's the start of that process of purifying the body, changing your diet, getting outside, connecting back with nature, and seeing the bigger picture, the vantage point from way up here of why spirit is taking us through a lot of the things that we go through. We're going to pull two cards from the Sacred Traveler's Oracle deck and see what else, see what else spirit has for you. We have Desert Passage. Okay, so that desert in that last picture was important. It says, trust that there is a divine plan, and I'll show you that in better detail. And grounding. Yeah. So this is this is really about you having faith in this process, this new beginning, this journey, this enlightenment that you're going on, this healing phase. Because there is going to be celebration. There is going to be commitment and um, triumph and all of that. But it says trust there's a divine plan. So when you're in a desert passage, I can imagine that you would see no way out. There's no water. There's no food. And you're probably tired, hot. 
dehydrated, right? But there is a divine plan because sometimes when we get into our weakest state is when we can hear God's voice the clearest. Oh, we actually had two cards here. Wow. Okay. 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 Spirit snuck that in on me. We have grounding. It says go deep and explore your roots. So if you haven't been going outside, I encourage you to get out there. I know it's cold, but try to get outside, get some sun if you can. For those of you who can walk barefoot, I'm in California, so it's not frozen. It's not frozen here. You can try earthing techniques to bring down inflammation and uh, just not feeling well in the body. And then also, Spirit wants you to find sanctuary. It says opening to your spiritual source. So some of you, even if you felt like you've been spiritual, this is a whole nother level. This is a whole nother, nother level of trust, of faith, of being in the divine's energy to get you through this manifestation. So for some of you, it's healing of the physical body. Some of you, it's a new project that you're working on. Some of you, it's diving deeper into your spirituality and finding more purpose in your life. Being victorious through this enlightenment period that you're, you're going through. Wow, that is beautiful energy. And I'm going to leave you with this. Jim and I, we're going to pull one card from our Empowerment Cards deck to keep with you for the month of January. So what is it, Spirit, that you would like for my dear Jim and I to take with them this month? The main theme, a word of encouragement, a mantra that they can say every day. There we go. Flexibility. You see that tail and how it moves and wraps around, right? So it says, gently flow through the turbulence. Life has the ability to shape you. Bend, but don't break. So you're going through a very turbulent, tumultuous, difficult time. And the more rigid you are, the more negative you look at the prospects, the more you let that negative information, you know, with that four of cups that we got hold you back, that situation you thought that was so beautiful, kind of falling flat. The more that you do that, and you don't allow yourself to bend with life, you can become brittle and break, right? So spirit is saying, be flexible, be open, trust, move your body. And also don't have resistance against this process because there is so much that you're going to gain from being in touch with who you are and being in touch with the, the, the theme of flow. Again, <laughs> I keep getting readings on my Instagram from other people that I'm pulling cards for as well that keep saying to stop trying to be in that masculine energy. Embrace the feminine energy and focus on what it is that you need to focus on and truly just allow spirit to lead you and guide you where you need to go. This is a time for you to trust. This is a time for you to lean in. Your dreams, your hopes, your desires, they're going to work out. It's just a matter of being open to it, maybe working out a little bit different than you thought, or maybe that it has just a little bit longer time than you would like, but there is going to be forward momentum. So I hope that this message reached you and that you were able to gain something from this January reading, my dear Gemini. Please give this video a like, um, give it a thumbs up, Subscribe to this channel if this video was helpful to you in any way, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.